Hi Stampers, this is Holly from RubberRedneck.TypePad.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this fun box for fall using the Lovely as a Tree stamp set. This is what the Lovely as a, as a Tree stamp set looks like. It's in the Stampin' Up! catalog. Now for a mini uh, project sheet, visit my blog rubberredneck.typepad.com that you can download that on my website. I'll have that there. Now to create the box part of this, you want to cut one piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock and you're going to cut that at five and a half inches by eight and a half. With the five and a half inch top or the five and a half inch length at the top of your Simply Scored scoring tool, score that at one and a half and then at four inches. Once you have those two lines scored, turn your cardstock and place it with the eight and a half inch length at the top of the Simply Scored scoring tool and score that at three and a half inches and then at five inches. Once you have that scored, cut on the center lines here to create tabs, just up to that first score line. And then once you have your tabs cut, put sticky strip on the center tabs and then put sticky strip on one end of the cardstock only on the sides. One piece on each side here. And then you want, before you assemble this, you want to fold this over on all your scored lines and then you want to crease it down good with your bone folder. So just take your bone folder, crease that down. That way it will be a lot easier to assemble the box. It will just fold together nicely for you. And then fold that over, crease that down good. Fold the other side over, crease that down good with your bone folder. Now you're ready to start assembling your box. So you're going to fold in your center tabs. You're going to work one, one tab at a time here. Take off the backing, fold that over, and line up your edges together so they're nice and even. And just work slowly. And if you have a little bit of an overhang, take a pair of scissors that you only use on paper and trim off that excess. Now you want to fold over the other center tab. And you're going to attach these to attach these to the inside of your box. Just fold that over. Line up your edges so it's flush. And again, if you have any that's overhanging, if you don't get that completely tight in there right away, trim that. Then you want to take the other one. That's got the sticky strip, peel off your backing, and then you're going to fold this in on the inside, and then just line up your edges and put that together. And then do the same thing on the other side. Gently put that inside, fold that over, line up your edges, and press down. And now you have a box. Now to decorate the box, you want to cut one piece of Tangelo Twist cardstock at two and a quarter by three and a quarter. Run it through the Big Shot with the wood grain embossing folder for the texture. Cut one piece of Parkline Park Lane Designer Series paper. It's got this like square diamond pattern. You're going to cut that at two inches by two inches. Glue this to the top of your Tangelo Twist cardstock in the center. And then cut one piece of Park Lane Designer Series paper, the So Saffron Little Dot Pattern piece. Cut that at one inch by two and a quarter. Put some glue onto the back and place that across the bottom of the Tangelo Twist cardstock. Cut one piece of Blackberry Bliss cardstock at one and three quarters by two and a quarter. Cut one 
piece of whisper white cardstock at one and nine sixteenths by two inches. Take the stamp from Lovely as a Tree, ink it in mossy metal, and stamp onto the whisper white cardstock. Pour clear embossing powder over the image and then heat set it after you've tapped off the excess. And then you'll have these little trees here. Then you're going to glue, glue this to the Blackberry Bliss cardstock. And then you're going to punch a piece of Tangerine Tango or Tangerine Twist cardstock. Just cut a little half inch by one inch piece, punch it with the scallop edge border punch so you get it in where the valley is. And once you have that cut, put a little bit of glue onto the end and attach that onto the back of your Blackberry Bliss cardstock. Then you're gonna attach this to all those layers with two stamping dimensionals. Just place one at the top and one at the bottom. Peel off the backings and then place that right in the center towards the top of your Park Lane Designer paper. Then you want to cut three and a half inches of the 3 8 Mossy Metal Stitched Satin Ribbon. You're going to place a glue dot on each end and you're going to wrap this around your layers on the bottom here. And then you're gonna cut three and a half inches of the Venetian crochet trim. Place a glue dot on each end of the trim and you're gonna wrap that around your layers of paper just below the 3 8 mossy meadow stitch satin ribbon. And then you wanna cut eight inches of the linen thread. Place a glue dot on one end of the linen, linen thread and you're going to wrap this around the center of your other two pieces of ribbon and you're going to wrap this around twice. And once you have that wrapped around, then secure the other end with a glue dot. This is what your panel will look like so far. Then you're going to attach this to the front of your Blackberry Bliss box and you want to make sure you put it on the side that has the nice finished edges. You don't want it on the side that's the back with the rough edge there. Just place a stamping dimensional at the top and at the bottom. Peel off the backing. And then attach that to the center of that Blackberry Bliss box. Then you want to take one of the very vintage designer buttons and you're going to attach that with a glue dot over here on the left side of your ribbons and that little punched piece just cover your little gap there and then you're going to create a double bow out of that linen thread take another glue dot kind of roll it on your finger there put it on the center of your button and attach your linen thread right to that button after you've done that then you're going to take your scissors and trim up your tails so they're nice looking. And then you're going to take some pearl basic jewels and put them down here on the bottom. So take one of the larger ones and put it onto that so saffron pattern paper. And then take one of the medium ones and place that on to the left of that larger one. Be sure to visit my blog rubberredneck.typepad.com for that mini project sheet that you can download for free. And then that completes my tutorial for my little lovely as a tree box. Thank you for watching.